Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make an automatic door in Unreal Engine that opens when the player is close to it and then closes once the player moves away from it, like so. I get close to the door, it opens, and once I leave the door, it closes. Additionally, I'll show you how to have the same door have the ability to open once the player meets a condition like picking up a key card. If I go to the door without the key card, it beeps and changes to yellow. Once I grab the key card and go back to the door, it opens. Before we begin, I want to mention the acid packs I use to create this door, which you will need if you want the exact results, which are the modular secret military base for the color reader, science laboratory for the door and frame, and the character interaction asset for the different colors of the card reader. If you have questions about these and what can be used as a substitute, please comment down below and I'll do my best to help. The blueprints for this are very simple, so let's get started. We're going to first create a new blueprint class, actor, and then name it door. You'll now want to grab your door components, such as the frame, the door itself, and the key reader. If you don't have any of these packs, you can use plain geometric shapes for now, and then swap out the static meshes later. Also, don't forget to add the trigger box for the area you'd like the door to detect the player. After you've assembled your door, frame, key reader, and box trigger, now we can get into the blueprints. So head to the event graph and let's delete everything here so we only have what we want and can understand what we're putting down. Let's first start with event begin play and cast to our character. My project's character's name is customized, but you would use cast to third person character. In the object node, put get player character and create a variable out of the pin here and let's name it ref. What we've just done is create a reference to our player and made a variable. So anytime in the blueprint, if we want to refer to our player, we don't need the cast to feature with all the extra stuff. We can just pull it from the ref. This is a good habit to get into for any blueprint you make that will refer to your character. This next step is if you're going to use the card reader feature with the changing color. If you notice on the key reader static mesh, there is a material instance that is colored red by default. Whatever mesh you use, if it has its own instance, you can change the color this way. Just follow along and it'll make sense. Let's create dynamic material instance and create a variable out of the return value. The variable name for this should be the color blue. Let's repeat this two more times with each variable being named a different color. I have red and then yellow. Next, we need to select the parent material instance, and this will be the color of the key reader. Essentially, out of all the packs you may have, look for any with material instances that may have an emissive light like these do on my screen here. I have countless packs and just searched for whatever worked. Next, we're going to create an event tick and let's output a branch and grab our player reference. In my player reference, I have created an integer variable named card reader. In your third person character blueprint, go to variables, hit the plus sign, set it to integer and name it key cards. Compile and save and then go back to the door blueprint. Now out of your reference, you can get the card reader variable that you just created and do greater than and equal to and put one and from here create a boolean variable named can unlock set it to true so what does this do event tick runs constantly when the game is in play and it's checking does the player have key cards in the value of one or more if yes, then the door can unlock. Now that's just the logic, but we haven't implemented it into anything yet. Okay, so the next step is to right click on the trigger box, add an event, and on begin overlap. From other actor, we're gonna cast to our third person character. Again, my player's name is a custom, and let's put a branch and put can unlock. Let's also add play sound 2D here after true, and you can put whatever sound you want to play when the door opens. 
Now let's put a for loop. And from here, we're grabbing the card reader mesh component, getting the num materials of it. And from here, we're gonna subtract one and connect that into our for loop. I'll explain what this is doing in a second. From loop body, put a do once and set material. For the target, we're gonna grab our key reader. We're gonna get num materials, get character as number, and the number you'll put is whatever element is in the emissive color. Now we're gonna grab our color variable blue and plug it in here. Again, I'll go through and explain what's going on after. We're almost done. If you have a card reader on the other side like me, you'll duplicate the code you just made and select that card reader here. The last thing we're gonna do uh, is actually very short and it's opening the door. So let's put move component to node and select our door for the component. We're gonna get relative transform and plug that rotation into the relative rotation. And from here, look at the values of where your door is now. And what we're interested in doing is moving the X axis of the door to the left. So we're gonna subtract another 200 degrees from the current location and use the same values for Y and Z since those are not moving. Let's also tick ease in and out so when the door opens, it will slide open and close and lastly drag the end node back to the do once reset so that the door animation will work over and over again. Okay, so that's everything you have to code. It's all copy and paste from here. And before we wrap up, let me explain what's happening. So when the player overlaps with the trigger box and the door can unlock, a sound is gonna play. The color of the card reader or material instance will be set to blue and the same thing will happen to the back reader. Then the door slides open and that's it. The whole part with the get num materials is us telling the engine what material element of the card reader to change. And we found that element zero is the one with the emissive color. All we need to do now is set the reverse so the door closes and the condition for the door to beep and not open when we don't meet the unlock condition. So really quick, let's highlight all of the nodes here and press the C key on your keyboard so that a comment box generates and let's name it change color to blue. Let's also change the comment box color to blue. Now let's go back to the branch over here and where false is, let's copy and paste everything above it and connect it. Let's change the comment box color to yellow as well as the text and in set material box here, let's put the yellow variable. From here, the sounds you'd want to pick before blue is the door opening and the beeping before yellow. Now what's happening is the key reader will change to yellow when the condition of can unlock is false and the beeping sound will play. The last steps we need to do is to have the card reader go red when the player leaves the trigger box. So let's add the event end overlap of the trigger box and copy everything from up here and paste it down below and change the colors and text to red. The only thing we need to change here is the variable blue and yellow to red. And at the end here, change the transform of the original value for X. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen, you have a fully functioning card reader door. 
As for the card reader logic, this can be anything you want. I have the logic to pick up a key card with the animations already done, but I mean you can create a new actor blueprint, set up a trigger box and on overlap increase the player's key card value by 1 and when you go to the door it'll open. I hope you found this helpful, if you have questions please leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer it. Thanks everyone for watching, I will see you all in the next video, bye!